Four years into that Syrian civil war, half of the population, 11 million, has fled their homes. Hundreds of thousands are appealing for mercy in Europe, but Charlie Daggett has found it's not easy. Like so many Syrian refugees, Mohammed Bazov set his sights on Germany. We first met the 21-year-old architecture student five weeks ago when he crossed into Hungary, dodging police checkpoints. In Berlin, he told us he passed his first interview with German immigration authorities. Were they asking you, you know, tough questions about were you in the military, were you in the militia, were you fighting? Were they asking you those questions? Me? Yes. No. He was given the equivalent of $800 and told to come back in January for another interview. He's not allowed to work in the meantime. Right now, there's little to stop Islamic extremists from slipping in among the migrants. The police take fingerprints and check them against international databases like Interpol. So many people here without ID, without anything. Despite the initial warm welcome in Germany, there has been a growing backlash against migrants, a spate of arson attacks, like this sports center just outside Berlin that was due to house hundreds of migrants. By the time firefighters got here, there wasn't much to save. The police chief said about the only blessing was that the beds hadn't arrived yet, and neither had the migrants. The German government has argued the migrants will provide a much needed workforce to offset the needs of an aging population. But Gregor, a Berliner who we spotted outside the registration center, said not all Germans are buying it. That's what they are selling us these people for, you know, that they will pay our our what's our pension in the future and everything i i mean we have five million unemployed germans you know i mean so we, when they they can't even put their own people into jobs germany's generosity towards migrants is being stretched to the limits charlie daggett cbs news berlin